One week later, and we arrive at the Gorna Rosica circuit at Sevlievo in Bulgaria for round five of the Motocross Grand Prix World Championships. Joel Smets, very much a championship challenger, also dominant in the 650cc Grand Prix so far. Number one, Mikhail Pichon, can he come back from that setback in Italy? Three race wins, one fourth place, leading the championship on 93 points. 72, Stefan Everts. Moving into the picture, looking confident. Once again, he's been out in the 125cc Grand Prix before this motocross Grand Prix. This time, after a poor start, he finished only fourth. He didn't like to uh, get in the way of the major championship challenges for the 125 GP. Joel Smets on pole position, up the inside, a flying start, but it's Pit Byron, number seven, on the factory 250cc KTM, who emerges in the lead from turn one in Bulgaria, ahead of Brian Jorgensen. All 30 riders safely through the opening turns. And Pit Byra at the front. Behind him, Brian Jorgensen, Claudio Federici. Joel Smet trapped on the inside. Stefan Everts just in front of him. The Motor X Kawasaki is in there, Kenneth Gunderson. Number 33, James Noble on the RWJ Honda, just behind number nine, James Dobb on the second 250cc factory K2. Brian Jorgensen has got to the front. Jorgensen's Honda leads. Byra, KTM in second place. Yorgi, former British 125 champion. Received his nickname from Rob Hooper's wife, Cheryl. Hooper, the boss of the UK Suzuki team on which Jorgensen clinched that British title. Last year, he moved into the open class and impressed, finishing eighth on a factory Husqvarna. This year, on to his Honda, the 450cc Honda, and proving that last year was no flash in the pan, becoming a real front runner here in the motocross Grand Prix. Rogi Lee. Second place, Pit Byra. Jorgensen often irritates his opposition by taking those long glances at them in mid-air. Byra second, Claudio Federici. At the moment, repeating his third place in Italy. And the battle on between Stefan Everts cutting through the ruts on the inside of Joel Smets and into fourth place. So Everts fourth in the 125cc Grand Prix this morning, knows his way around this track. He spends the hour between races cooling himself down on his uh, static exercise bike, just keeping his muscles warm, and then comes back out to nail the motocross Grand Prix boys. None harder than Mikhail Pichon, championship leader, down in 10th place just ahead of the private Suzuki of Christoph Martin. So stacks of work to do for Pichon. And Pitfire losing second place to Claudio Federici and feeling the heat from Stefan Everts. Everts nailing the Rinaldi Yamaha straight past Pit Byra. He's also going to find himself coming under the hammer from Joel Smets. All action, and it's all happening behind the leader, the neat and stylish Brian Jorgensen. The two Yamahas together now, right together. Stefan Everts looking for a way past Claudio Federici. Joel Smets already past Pit Byra. Yamaha, Yamaha, KTM, KTM with a Honda at the front. Gordon Crockard absent, having decided that the broken finger is not yet well enough healed. The best thing to do is get the shoulder and the finger sorted out before he makes his comeback to the Grand Prix trail. Federici riding extremely well. Quick but defensive, holding off Stefan Everts, but Everts gets enormous airtime right alongside him and this time has the drop on him into the left-hander. Keeps the power on, so does Federici. Absolutely together. Federici clips the ruts. Everts comes tight and forces him wide. This time gives him no space at all. He's through into second place. 
Once again, Federici retaliates. He certainly found a lot more aggression during his layoff. But Everts just has the edge on him. Two Italian run Yamahas fighting over second place here with the Honda of Brian Jorgensen just ahead. And Joel Smets on the Austrian KTM comes up alongside. He also wants to get past Federici. Almost clipped the back wheel of the Yamaha in his eagerness. Up the short, sharp hills here at Sablievo. Everts, Federici, Smets, as quick as that. Everts begins to wear down the advantage of leader Brian Jorgensen. His next task will be to get past him. And we've seen just how obstructive the thing can be. Oh, Pit Byer has gone down. Pit Byer has gone down hard on one of the fast jumps. He's bailed right over the front of the factory KTM and he's badly hurt. Pit Byra, the yellow flags are out, but really, should the race be stopped? Pit Byra lying right in the middle of the track there as Stefan Everts barges his way through inside Brian Jorgensen and takes the lead. Everts, having won in Italy, is suddenly back in control in Bulgaria. Jorgensen, a splendid second. The battle on between Federici and Joel Smets for third. And this was how Stefan Everts did it. He took the shorter line, got the power down early. And Yorgi looked for a moment as if he'd managed to get up the hill ahead of Stefan, but Stefan was on the inside as they reached the top. The yellow flags waving frantically to protect the stricken pit fire. In the battle for third place, Claudio Federici and Joel Smets approach the scene side by side. The KTM team anxious for their rider. Mikhail Pichon, having recovered brilliantly from 10th place in the early stages, is now attacking Claudio Federici for 4th place. Fantastic ride by the Frenchman. Struggling to find himself some grip here on that screaming two-stroke Suzuki. Byra, gravely injured, taken off in an ambulance and eventually flown back to a hospital in Germany. As Mikhail Pichon grabs fourth place, the same place, of course, that he managed to finish in Italy. But that's not where he's been accustomed to being so far with three straight wins at the start of the season. Jorgensen in second place. First became the Danish champion in the 80cc class back in 1987. Five second lead now for Stefan Everts. He started racing when he was 10. And by the time he reached 19, he was crowned world champion for the first time. 1991 for Suzuki in the 125 class. Here's Pichon. He is attacking Joel Smets, having made mercurial progress through the field. Smets may have thought that third place was safe. It isn't now. The remarkable Pichon. Look how he jumps low, real supercross style, gets the wheel back down to earth as fast as possible, gets the power down. Clever rider. Again, keeping those lines very, very tight on the 250C Suzuki, but not quite able to match the torque of that 450 KTM as they come hammering out. Just under 15 minutes plus two laps remaining in this race. The Frenchman from Le Mans attacking Belgium's four times world champion here, Joel Smets. Still hanging on to third place on the KTM. And then suddenly a mistake from Pichon. He slides off. He manages to fire the Suzuki back up. Has he hung on to fourth place? That's the crucial question. So another small mistake 
from Mikael Pichon. He was hardly to blame, of course, when Federici went down in front of him in Italy. But that time, it was all his own doing. So now he's got ground to make up again. He's hung on to that fourth place ahead of Federici. Andrew McFarlane, Marnie Clavolt, Kenneth Gunderson, eighth. Christian Burnham, a brilliant ride for the 30-year-old Englishman. He's in ninth place ahead of Patrick Caps and Kevin Strybos. Nevitz, he's in first place behind nobody. He really is making full use of the track time he's enjoying in the 125 Grand Prix before he goes out for the motocross GP race. Didn't want to get involved with the front runners in the 125 Grand Prix. So he settled for fourth place. Joel Smetch not settling for third place in this race, though. He has caught Brian Jorgensen. Pressing hard to get past the Honda. Every point vital. He knows that Stefan Evans is going to win this race. He's got to try and hang on to his advantage in the championship table. Smets cutting inside. Oh, wonderfully finding the grip that he needs. Breaking underneath the Honda. Jorgensen glances to his right and just says, I'm still here. And almost looks to block the Belgian. It must be frustrating the way that Brian just glances round, sees where you are and decides that he's going to ride that very piece of track that you want. Joel going for more and more extravagant lines as he tries to push his way through. Jorgensen can uh, be travelling very, very fast as well while he's styling it like this. The battle for second place. Smets already second in Spain, second in the Netherlands, second in Italy. On the rostrum at every race so far. The only rider to achieve that. Five minutes plus two laps left. Brian Jorgensen, twice Danish 80cc motocross champion. Three times Danish 125 motocross champion. Once European 125 champ. Once British 125cc champ. Fighting with the four-time Open champion Joel Smets. Absolutely elbow to elbow. Smets squeezes his way underneath. And this time he has made the break. He knew it was now or never. Smets forces his way through. Jorgensen demoted to third place. Pichong, meantime, coming under a lot of pressure. He's got Andrew McFarlane's Kawasaki right with him. 25-year-old Australian looking to find a way past the French double champ. Claudio Federici just behind them. Pichon so far has been clearly the fastest 250cc two-stroke. Here is the Motorex Kawasaki of McFarlane trying to prove otherwise. Long-haired Australian. In a good old 250cc Grand Prix struggle here with Mikael Pichon. At the front on his last lap, Stefan Everts has time to style it and wave to his appreciative supporters. He is going for yet another Grand Prix win. He's already won more than anybody else in the history of motocross, and he just keeps adding to them. Joel Smith soars to second place. Brian Jorgensen, a very satisfying third. And Stefan Everts beginning to look like a danger. Oh, thanks, Steph. We'll treasure it. Everts wins in Bulgaria. Smets and Jorgensen on the podium. Pichon fights off McFarlane and Federici to hang on to fourth place ahead of Bevertz and Patrick Caps. Once again, well equipped to protect himself from the sprays of champagne. Look at Brian Jorgensen. He's well chuffed with that third place. He stays fourth in the championship. Pichon's lead cut down to just three points ahead of Joel Smets and 11 points clear of Stefan Everts.